Well, the state government's been left red-faced after the Northern Territory slipped under its guard and captured a major sponsorship coup. The Adelaide United soccer team will look more like a team from the Northern Territory after the South Australian government passed up the opportunity to back the locals. Rejected at home, the Reds instead stand united across the border, sporting no sign of South Australia on their new playing strips. In the end, it's uh, it's a it's a state that hasn't got the game, uh, you know, professionally. It's a bit of a shot across the bow to uh, our southern counterparts in South Australia. The state's only A-League team forced to play into the hands of Northern Territory Tourism in a two-year deal worth three hundred and fifty thousand dollars a season after the South Australian government dropped the ball on sponsorship three in a crucial time when soccer will next year be on the global stage for the World Cup. This is a real smack in the face for the Weatherall government, but it's a real embarrassment for South Australia as well. The club plugging the positives, injecting soccer culture into the top end. Now, a visit to Alice Springs should be on every South Australian's bucket list. The Reds will now host pre-season games in Alice Springs, as well as clinics and training camps. There's not enough Territorians playing A-League. It's that simple. The deal will also see signage around the pitch at Hindmarsh Stadium promoting the Northern Territory. The South Australian government has refused to make any comment on the squandered deal. Virginia Langerberg, Nine News.